Now, if there is a restraining order, let's let's see it. Let's see what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I mean not to be a dick to you, but let's let's see what I'm doing wrong, guys. If there is something that I'm doing wrong, and there's a restraining order, and it says that I'm doing wrong, I want to see it. So it's the 21st century. Can you guys produce this document? Scott, you went to court, right? Yeah, but there's nothing in place to prevent me. Right. From there is a restraining order. There's, there's, there's no restraining, restraining order. I'm just telling you what, what we have in okay. our okay. 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 We have to go by the okay. law, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you have a restraining order, you're not allowed to do that with a microphone here. Technically, okay, you could go to jail for that. You're getting a citation today. Okay, so you're going to get a citation. We are going to take your microphone away from you today as evidence. You're going to take my personal property out of my It's not personal property. And you're going to come out here and do this crap over my first amendment my, rights. I'm trying to explain to you what's happening. You know what? I don't give a shit. Hey, fuck you guys. Seriously, you guys are a fucking joke. I mean, really, this is America. You guys need to get it right. This is my first amendment right to be out here. This department took everything that I own, okay? It took my life's work, my family history. All my shit, and they never looked into it. Okay, my dad's ashes were in my motorhome. And these incompetent pieces of shit upstairs did nothing about it. They did nothing no, in that we weren't, lobby. We're not, we weren't I have every right to be out here. You need to calm down, Lord. No, I don't. Okay, well, I'm telling you I right don't now. need to calm down, because this is a load yes, of you shit. Do. You need to calm down. I'm not going to calm down. I'm just telling you're you. You're going to take my megaphone. Is what you're going you're to take my megaphone? Lower your voice. No. Okay. I'm going to stand up for my humanity is what I'm going to do. Okay. I didn't do anything wrong. Nothing wrong. I should be able to stand up for myself and for my property. This is not right. It's not to, right. I'm just trying to explain to, to you what's it's happening today. It's not right, guys. It's not right. So you understand that we weren't there whenever these incidents happened. But these continue I understand to you're happen. upset. I understand you're mad. I understand your frustration. They continue to take okay. motorhomes and cars God, of you, people you that want, are homeless, guys. To be they continue to, to take okay. them. These people are dying on our streets. They're not allowing them to get their property back. They're allowing the tow companies to take everything from them. And they're not doing anything about it. All right, I got a question. Um, you were asking about the couple of restraining order, or like seeing the restraining order. Were you given anything in court that said that? I don't have anything. That's why you guys are no, saying. No, no, I'm just saying, did, do you remember going to court? Hmm? Did you ever go to court? He acknowledged that he went to court. I went, I went the first time, and, and they extended it, it to show it, cause. It, it, it helped you out because I wasn't there, so I'm, I'm not trying to trick you with this. I, mean, I, I, I went to court. Okay. Okay, they told me that I had to show cause and go back, and then and, and, and and, and I, I don't it, have a, a restraining. Okay, okay, okay. And, and I and I truly want to ask that. So Happy New Year, guys. So they didn't give me anything. God bless America. I'm not doing anything wrong. My personal property matters, and the people that I watch die on the streets, their stuff matters, and this has to stop. But Scott, that day they didn't give me anything, and I'm and I wasn't there, so I'm sorry. I, I truly don't know. They, did they hand you anything or, or like purple? They didn't give me anything, okay? okay? That's... It was a decibel rating. And I have that other big megaphone that I have. I don't bring it out here. This thing is within the decibel. I'm going to... I pull my phone. I'm not even trying to. I have a decibel rating thing on here okay. for the app. Okay. I'm not going over a decibel rating out here that is illegal. These, okay. these I, airplanes I are making twice as much noise as the decibel rating, guys. Yeah, yeah, but... You're talking over my head here because these are all things that I don't. I, I, I'm yeah. clueless too. Yeah. Like, like I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Now we got the whole Calvary coming here out here. But, but the good news is, is that this is all. It all goes on a police report that you can have access oh, to. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then there'll be a time where, where somebody will answer all your questions. Yeah. yeah. I didn't mean to bitch you guys out. I'm no, just, no, I no. just am no. upset with what's nope. happening. Hey, Scott, is this your current address right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
it's just sad. I go to all these county things, and when the medical examiner does her reports and she talks about all these people dying, then it's like they had shelter. They had cars. They had motorhomes. They had stuff. And when you go over these reports, I'm like, my God. You know, and I've gotten to know a lot of these people. I've been sober three years now, um, and, and I was in that situation, and I damn near froze to death about my home. And I don't want to see these people dying. I mean, we even have officers that are living in their motorhomes here that it's too hard for them to afford housing. We provide them with an area to stay, but we've got this big lot. Why don't we share it with other people? Why don't we share it with the people that have it the hardest? These are our brothers and sisters. They really are. I'm not a bad person, guys. I don't even have a criminal record. You know, I fell on hard times. I mean, I ended up getting strung out on drugs. I mean, it was bad, but I, I did the right thing and got sober. But I, I, there's other people that are just like me out there. They're not bad people. Yeah. I don't know why our city is just, I mean, the stuff that they're doing. I was never able to have a fact-finding investigation or a complaint thing. They sent me back and forth like it was a sick joke. Okay. What do you talk about? Um, my motorhome, my oh, property. Okay, gotcha. I mean, for years they sent me like from the independent police auditor to internal affairs to code enforcement to city hall they literally it was like a sick joke and you're like it's like they put a glad bag over my head and let this guy run in circles when it's just like i needed a civil standby i needed somebody to tell the you know take me to where my property is and allow me to get my stuff and they just never would do it and that's what the the current system is designed for that's how they're taking all the motorhomes and cars, and that's how they're getting, that's their solution to get the homeless off the streets. And it's not a solution at all. I mean, you know, I, it's, it's really not. And then this is, you know, Stinky Sam Licardo and our, and our police chief, Fast Eddie Garcia, this is their solution. Stop homeless advocates, you know? Sue homeless advocates. Scott, can I just interrupt you for one second? Okay, okay just yeah, kind of let you know what's going on. Yeah. You were at court on December 10th, correct? I don't know the exact date. Okay. Well, you were because we have court paperwork showing. I, 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 so it's I a civil court order, okay? Do you remember getting a, it's not a criminal court order, it's a civil court order, okay? That you're to stay 300 feet away, okay? It's not you're, stay 300 feet I'm away. I'm just gonna explain to you what's okay, gonna happen. Okay, yeah, yeah, If yeah. you wanna disagree with me, we can, we yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, no worries. We're not, we don't, yeah. we're not gonna do that, okay? You need to obviously stay 300 feet away. You can't have any kind of amplified device, which you have right there. Okay, real quick. You're saying 300, stay 300 feet yes, away. Yes, and you were given a civil no, court order. No, I wasn't anything like okay. that. I don't know where you're coming well, up with this, bud. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, you were. Okay. You're, you're coming up with this out of penis, you were, you were there. I don't no, know where no, this is no coming penis. from. Okay. So I'm just okay. letting you know what's All happening. Right. You're right, going to yeah. get a citation for violating a restraining order. We are going to take that microphone. Okay, this officer is going to take that. Okay, and you're going to you're going to be given a citation. You'll have a date and time in court to show up. Okay, to tell them, tell the judge, obviously, that for whatever your reasons, you don't believe you were yeah. there. But there's signed paperwork saying that you were there that day, and you were issued a civil. So, order. so okay. what you're saying? So, if I had a 300 feet, okay, you ready for this? If they it's put that in been place, to you. I'm, okay, I can't go into detail with you okay. about it Well, you're going into detail okay, with me right now. So, if I had that in place, that means I couldn't go to any of the committees that I'm on with the county. I couldn't go to any. Feet, listen, 300 feet from any police facility. 300 feet off the section of your property right there would make it so I can't go to the right DA's here. office, so I can't, can't go to court. Device. I couldn't go to the DA's I'm office. I'm not talking about the DA's court. office. That's 300 feet. From a police facility. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. You're coming up with some interesting Which stuff. Which, unfortunately, you're violating. You're, you're not. I'm not violating anything. I'm not violating the law. Okay. And you cannot have that microphone that amplifies sound. I'm not sound. doing anything wrong. You are. You're disturbing police not, activities not, that are occurring here. I'm not doing anything wrong. But you understand that you are disturbing police activities that are occurring inside the building. I am not disturbing the peace here. You are. That's why we came out here. Obviously, we are inside the building. The there are people that are having meetings inside that can hear you. And that's why we're out here making this I'm not disturbing the peace. It's my personal property, by the way, but...
this magical restraining order that yeah. you're talking about, the 300, like an actual it's restraining order, yeah. you got to be civil. kidding me. It's a civil. Yeah, whatever. I mean, but you got to be kidding me if I come <laughs> right out here and violate something like that if it was there. Talk to you over there, okay? Yeah. I understand. Right. So you gotta get your fingerprint done before court. So if you don't, what's gonna happen is they'll get you out of court and get the okay. So okay. make sure that you get the pre book. Here it's gonna be for the court to see what the case number is. Okay. So that's what you're looking for. So your parents are saying right here. It's not a mission to go see. So now, do you guys show me a copy of this of this order that no, you guys are No, we don't have to present with? that to you right now. It's in the system, which is all right now. Okay. But they just they don't provide somebody. We with can't it. we can't be walking around with paper. That's why we have a communication. No, no, no. I get it. It's twenty first century. I mean, right. Come on, we're at the so we verify department. it. Got, okay. Scott. Yeah, but we're at the police department. But you know what I'm saying? We're at the police department. I got it. Provide a document. I mean, who's got the police? It's the twenty first century. Yeah, you know. I don't hear you. <laughs> well, not here at the San Jose Police Department. I mean, that's you guys are in the Stone Age. But that's the upper management that's the problem here. We're going to get that fixed. Don't forget your camera that you have set up on the garbage can and stuff, okay? Yeah, I won't forget it. And then, and then I'll wait for the court to see what the court will take up the evidence so that the court That's the report that wants to see this one. Okay, so, so you guys are saying that there's a restraining order that's not allowing me to come up with 300 feet. You're, viol you're violating a civil court order, yes. Uh, 300 feet. Yes. Do you have an, uh, I'm just curious, do you have a, an attorney that you have with you or a lawyer that would be present on the court date on December 10th? Do, do you have one that you have assigned to you? No, I'm, I'm in, in a civil proceeding. Okay. You're you not guys want to see Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so. You um, well, actually, by California did you sign law, and we'll, and and we'll put that in for you. So oh, right. that's why you got no is, paperwork. In yeah, this is why I don't know where this right. this 300 well, yard thing. Well, uh, you guys got to be kidding me! I'd be a okay. moron. Well, like I said, we can sit here all day and explain that to you, but yeah, I know. Okay, we appreciate your cooperation. All right, yeah. you're free to go. All right. Thanks. Thank you very much. You guys take care. Uh, have a good New Year. Thank you. Hey, good I you will too. get this department cleaned up, and I will get our city. God bless America. Right,